hey, a news post. What is up, guys? It's Penguin Typer here, back with another video. And today, just as I started it off with, we have a new news post on Nitrotite talking about a lot of things. Um, I quickly skimmed it, and there is so much cool stuff in there. So, let's go take a look. Wow, what a big few months it's been. Although we haven't updated the news in a bit, we've been hard at work on adding all kinds of fun goodies. Well, let's see what these fun goodies are. As I'm sure you've noticed, Nitrotype recently got an explosion-filled update. We went through every page and made them f more fun, more exciting, and more confetti-filled. From winning a race to earning an achievement, we brought some glitter and gold to celebrate all your successes. Have you found them all yet? Even the secret ones? <sighs> so yeah, as you can see, you know, whenever, uh, I'll talk more about this in a second, but whenever, there's a lot of new things that give you confetti on Nitrotype, and I'll talk about that in a second. Along with the fresh bit of shine and polish, we've also squashed more bugs and improved the usability of more pages than we can list. However, in the not too distant future, we plan on launching an updates page that lists every major update so you can keep track of all the fun stuff we're working on. I actually like that. An updates page that lets you know what like they're adding to the site. I actually really like that idea. Um, I think that would be super useful and very helpful uh, for new players, especially those who just don't know like what's going on with Nitrotype. If they look at the updates page, they can see what's being updated. So I really like that idea. Um, and then talking about confetti. So on Nitrotype, as Travis said in the news post, there's been confetti added everywhere. Basically, if you earn an achievement, accept a friend request, get invited to a team, a million different things. If you do any of these things, confetti will fill the screen, including like buying a car, um, getting cash from a friend, all that stuff. There's a like a flipping boatload worth of things that just give you cool confetti now. And I didn't, I didn't think I would like it too much at first. I thought it would be kind of annoying, but you know, after all, it's just nice. It's like you, you, you do something cool and you get confetti. Yay. There's not much to it. It's just a nice little surprise, right? Surprise. Jeez, my voice, I don't know what's happening. Um, so I think, I think the confetti is very cool. Um, I do wish they've been improving. I, I do wish they spent more time improving the game and adding more cars and stuff than adding confetti. But the confetti is a nice touch, so I like it. Moving on. New Nitrotype team members. You may be wondering how we've managed to put out so many updates lately. Well, good news. Two more programming pros have joined Team Nitro. So we got Adam Saladino, front-end developer and creator of things. Um... And if you want to, if you want to read more about Adam Saladino, you can read this little paragraph. I'm not going to go too much into it. We also have John Geiger, 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 I don't know, backend developer and knight of the old code. Um, he's from Georgia. He's from Georgia. Actually, yeah, they're both from Georgia. But anyways, you know, as you can see, you got two more cool dudes added to the Nitrodype team. So basically these two people that you see on your screen are helping to create Nitrodype, basically. Um, they do different things. I'm not going to go super far into what they do. It's just like they help to make the site. Yay. So I think it's good to see that Nitrope's actually hiring more people because now they have a larger staff, which means they can spend more time like making things and then it'll mean the game will be like developed faster basically, um, which is good because that means more updates will be added quicker to the game and that's always a good thing. So yeah, that, that's quality. Good to hear. And John Geiger and Adam Saladino, Adam Saladino, if you're watching this somehow, welcome to the Nitro team, I guess. Um, then, then it talks about Nitro Math. So Nitro Math, I'm going to go into a lot of that in a whole other video. Just basically know that Nitro Type is working on this new, completely separate website called Nitro Math, which is basically Nitro Type, but instead of typing, you're doing math. Um, okay, I'll, I'll read this. Wow, you wouldn't believe how epic Nitro Math is looking. Years of planning and many months of hard work are finally becoming a reality with what we think will be the most fun way to practice your math skills, even if you're not the best at math like me. Are you going to be ready to build hype as a pro math racer, beat challenging championship races, and build a fan following to show your skill level? Will you collect all of our new cars? You know they're going to be awesome. Are you up to the challenge of our new... Oh my god. 
Oh, what's up, Jay? I'm back on campus. How are you doing? How are you doing? I'm good. How about you? How swim? It's fine. I'm done now. Oh, yeah. Are you streaming? No. You should stream. I should not. I don't stream on Sundays. With me. Yeah, you can just like it. Oh, yeah. Uh, you you want to go to Tech World with me? Um, I have a lot of work to do after this. Sorry. All right. All good. I'm sorry, man. See ya, dude. It's fine. See ya. So basically, as you can see, we have this screenshot here of what Nitro Mask is kind of looking like. Um, and you know, as you can see, we got we got a, five cars. It's a person going at some bots. We have a Nitro. Down in the corner says questions five out of six. So I think you answer multiple questions in a race. And if I'm just like looking at a question, it says how much money? We got 20, a five, two ones, and four quarters. Well, that's $28. I don't think that's really hard math. That's that's very simple, easy math. Stuff I was doing in like preschool. Um I don't know. My initial thought is that Nitro math is not gonna be that hard. Um it's going to be for little kids, right? Like kindergarten not kindergartners, but like elementary school and maybe a bit of middle school. Nowhere near high school level math. Um and like for instance, I'm taking algebra two right now, like nowhere near that. Um so I think Nitro Math is going to be cool and all, but I don't think it's going to be like Nitro Type where you can play at any age. I think it's going to be more of a, like a little kid game, basically, um, where it's just for like elementary schoolers to like practice their math. And I think that's really cool. I like what I like the idea behind it. I like trying to make math fun. I think that's a great idea. I just don't think that Nitro Math is going to appeal to all audiences. It's going to be mostly for elementary school kids. That's just my take on it. Um. So yeah, that's cool though. And then upcoming features. So this is actually probably the most important part of this whole news post. Basically, there's going to be upcoming features to the site. Um, so yeah, let's 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 go through the upcoming features. See what's up. See what's going to be coming soon. Improved season rewards. Over the last few months, we've been testing out a bunch of new se season achievements and rewards, and the feedback has been simply glowing. So we're going big. This year, we're going all in and redoing the entire season achievement system to be jam-packed with new things to earn. We're not just talking cars, and you know we'll have some cool cars, but custom emojis on the track, trails, sounds, nitro, nitro animations. It's about to be a loot explosion. More details on this to come. So I've actually been talking to Travis about this whole concept for a bit now. Um, I was, I was, I, I've been kind of working with him almost. I was the one who gave him a lot of uh, good feedback, and. Basically, if you guys don't know what any of this means, let me walk you through it. So we know how there's a season, right? You do races and you get a rewards, okay? It makes sense. You get more rewards if you're a gold member. Yeah, yeah, You get the point. Um, Now, instead of just cars and cash, which are the two, and titles, which are like the main rewards, there's going to be emojis on the track. So emojis are like stickers, right? Um, you can see them in front races. You just click the little emoji button and you can send an emoji. Kind of nice. Um, trails. If you guys don't know what a trail is, it's that thing that kind of like appears behind your car every once in a while. It's like smoke or fire or lightning even. It's pretty cool. Sounds. I don't know what sounds are yet. And nitro animations. That's probably going to be what happens when you use a nitro. It can be animated. So basically my take on it is there's going to be a lot more updates to the season reward system. Kind of cool. But I don't know if all the rewards are going to be, like, good. Then there's also just stickers on the main track. So instead of these stickers in front races, you can be able to use them on the main track. So you're just in, like, slash race, basically. And you can earn stickers. I'm not going to go super into this stuff. But basically just know that you can earn stickers and you will be able to use them when you're just in a normal race. And also trails! Trail. So, if you guys don't know what a trail is, here's a couple examples of a trail. You know, you got hearts behind your car, type, type, type behind your car, a fire behind your car. Um, and basically, what Nitro Type's trying to do is make it so you can buy and equip customizable trails. So, like, instead of only getting a trail once every 150 races, I will be able to actually purchase a trail and use it whenever I want. That's kind of cool. I must say, that's pretty cool. Um, I really like that idea. I think that's a really cool idea, and I want to see this happen. I want to see this become part of the game. Anyways, that's just a really long news post. There was a lot of stuff I covered in this news post, so if you managed to watch all the way to the end, 
write hashtag ultimate frisbee down in the comment section. That was just like the first thing on my mind. Write hashtag ultimate frisbee down in the comment section for a heart. I will give your comment a heart for watching the entire video. Um, but I hope you got a lot of information about uh, uh, out of this video. I hope this was a helpful video. And I, I hope you all have a wonderful day. I'll see you on the next video. Goodbye, everyone.